Hi, Marissa. How you doing? Okay. How you doing? I'm good. It's good to talk to you. So I, I want to start out with this. This is a movie that picks up right where the last one left off. And that means like your Aunt May character is dealing with a whole different story here now that the whole world knows who her nephew is. So uh, with, with Peter's identity being revealed, what can you say about, you know, where this kind of story started for your new journey, your next journey with this Aunt May character? Uh, it's it's where exactly where it left off where you were saying she knows where she knows that he's spider-man and they have to figure this out together and and now the whole world knows <laughs> it's a lot to take on it's a lot to take on i bet that was fun for you guys so you you have some really fun stuff with john favreau through the years and this movie isn't going to stop that either i love to hear about some of the times you guys work together do what does a marvel set allow for you guys to kind of improv and riff off of each other or is it very like okay we need to do exactly what the script says. Did you guys ever get to kind of play back and forth with that? No, no we'd, we'd improv pretty much. And then uh, John Watts would, kind of, would pick what he wanted and carve it into a scene before we shot it. So, and then, and then we'd improv again. <laughs> <laughs> fun, fun. Who, who cracks the most on set? Does anybody ever just kind of burst out in the middle of a take and, and have a laugh? I think we're always, always, it's pretty loose. It's really all pretty loose. Everyone cool. la laughs a lot. That's cool. Uh, you you have uh, throughout your career, you've had some really tremendous monologues, including uh, your Oscar winning My Cousin Vinny, the, the, the questioning about the Bel Air. And first of all, I was curious if you if you still remember like moments like that, like the monologue, uh, like the trick question bit. Do you remember that to this day? No. No, I was going to say, I was trying to look at it and see, I was like, that's a, that's a lot of words there. Um, but, <laughs> so I would love to hear from you. It, it, when you look at everything you've done with this character now, which I believe this is four, this will be the fourth time you've played this character. Do you think Aunt May, um, was like, is there like a defining moment for you that you kind of were like, this is the scene I really felt got to capture her, capture her relationship with Peter uh, or something that we can all look forward to in No Way Home? Mm, I don't think so. I think the best of what they do is probably off screen. But <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. There when he needs her, I, th I think I think your character plays a pretty key role. But I, I think a lot goes on behind the scenes as well. Uh, my last question for you, and, and I'm, I'm sure you probably have heard uh, this question before, some variation of it. But I, I, I hope I'm the first. It would be better if I am. If if the multiverse had had your character, the Aunt May version by Sally Field and the Aunt May version by Rosemary Harris, uh, all played together in in a scene, would would they all kind of bond? What would that what would that be like to kind of be like, well, we all have this crazy Peter. What, what would that be like? I think they'd go off and do their own thing together. That's what I think they do. 